Hey man, just because somebody else's grass look a bit greener than yours doesn't mean it's all peachy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you check this out, you see this whole field is dead. It's dead. But look though, a part of the dead grass, you still got some good shit. You know what I'm saying? All this patchy ass shit and these beautiful fucking flowers. You dig know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So tend to your garden, man. Because look, the green grass, it might be artificial. You know what I'm saying? So your grass is authentic. And just like how we have to, you know, hibernate, yo, your garden got to hibernate too. You got to go back into the crib and you got to start back over from scratch and figure out why your shit ain't work this season. And then next season, you know what to do. If you staying in the house and you watering your garden, you watering yourself, you ain't got to worry about what everybody else got going on on their grass. Because their grass can be fake as shit. They grass, you might can goddamn kick their grass and their grass the same color as yours. In your grass, you feel me? You might get a, you might get a little flower. And once you get the flowers, and small winds gonna keep it going. So fuck with your process until you see the small winds. Cause them small winds, once you once you get the first couple of orders, when you get that first love, when you get them first streams, that's what's gonna keep you going. But you gotta get to that point. You gotta finish your project to even deliver it to the people. You so worried about the grass next door? You stopping your process, baby. But you got this. You keep going, you keep pushing. And, hey, just flow with the water, baby. <laughs> flow with the water, baby. People, my people, my people, what it do? And that be Wait, you're fast! Nah, just go in the loops. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Today's a beautiful day. God got me. God got you, too. You just gotta step out on the faith. You gotta step out on the faith you know what i'm saying and it's so crazy how much i talk about god because i was raised in the church but outside of what my grandmother taught me i really wasn't paying too much mind on what was going on in the church you know what i'm saying and so then when i left you know the house i left all that behind me but i always you know listen to my grandma i always remember the things my grandma taught me and it's just like it came back in full circle, but with a different delivery, you know what I'm saying? With a different messenger, you feel me? And uh, I just think all this shit is fake, y'all. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that damn? Do you see that bitch barely moving? What the hell? It's really, I really like, I got a flower, you know what I'm saying? But I just really like how, I like how God, you know, brought me back to him. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't never really, I, I strayed away. You know what I'm saying? I ain't leave, but I just strayed away. You feel me? But I got, I, now the way that I receive the message, I, you know, retain it. And my goal, you know, with all this shit that I do, all, every the clothing, the crystals, all of that is with intent. You know, I ain't doing shit for money. It just comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Because the abundance flow to me. But I do all of this for my people. You know, the same way God found me or redirected my attention back to him, I want to be that if I can, you know what I'm saying? If I can turn you in the right direction. <laughs> Spring is on its way back, y'all. This is my favorite color, too. <laughs> but if I could, you know, turn you in the right direction, I can't I can't guide you. You know, some people, they, they want to, that bitch still not moving. Anyway, anyway. But, you know what I'm saying? I know I can't be people's savior. That ain't, that ain't what God sent me here for. That's not why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That was some real shit. But that's not why I'm here. You know, God, he didn't send me here to be people's savior. But he sent me here with a message. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and the crazy thing, with my fucking mind, it allows me to deliver the message in different ways it allows me to deliver my message in different ways i got one way where i deliver it you know what i'm saying with my testimonies my podcast you know what i'm saying then i got the crystal jewelry you feel me like that i use crystals 
and you know it's tangible for me i can feel you know the energy i can have faith and see it and feel it you know what i'm saying and sometimes we need that as humans you know what i'm saying sometimes we need that sometimes you can tell me i love you and then if i can feel it it's a little bit more potent you know what i'm saying so that's why i i rock crystals you feel me i want my people to become in tune with themselves and knowing that they can do whatever you know what I'm saying? Because it's not on you, it's in you. And God is within. You don't need any outside messenger. As long as you, but I love, I love saying peace be still. As long as you can sit down long enough and actually listen to God, he's within. You don't have to go to someone else and just like like you like you listening to me you going to somebody else and hearing their testimony about god to get your message and it's just like that's a start and that's what again, I, I just want to be the one to turn you to that direction i ain't gonna lead you down the path but i just want to be the one to turn you that give you that idea that okay maybe maybe i can do this maybe all the power that i'm seeking and wanting is it already in me and you bring that out yourself you know what i'm saying i already know i'm a like you feel me <laughs> I already know I'm a light. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, and I tend to let my ego get to me, but that's why I ain't dropped ego death yet. Cause God ain't finished with me. <laughs> I still got some, I still got some, got some in me. I still got some egotistic ways and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, still growing. I'm still I'm always out here growing. If you ain't growing, then what? It, it better be another motherfucking plane, bitch. That better be another motherfucking plan. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? God got me. And there's so many great things coming to me. I'm headlining the goddamn event, man. The big, big show. I'm headlining. One of the feature performers, man. This is my second year out here, man. People showing me love. Because it ain't on me, it's in me. They listening to what I'm saying. They seeing what I'm trying to do. You feel me? So when you got it, when you when you have, make sure your motion has a purpose. Make sure your motion is something that other people can benefit from. That's how it's gonna have longevity. <laughs> when I tell my story, I want y'all, I want y'all to feel, ooh, uh, ooh, I want you to feel that shit. You feel me? It's just beginning for Nappy Hippie and it's me. It's just beginning, it's just the beginning for us. We got this shit, man. It's time for us to. Stop looking everywhere. Start looking within. God got us. You don't need anyone. And if you have someone in your life that has a blessing or a lesson, instead of trying to figure out which one it is, because God going to always show you. Just enjoy the moment, baby. Peace. It was some nappy hippie shit. It was some nappy hippie. It was some nappy hippie shit. It was some nappy.